Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card video. Today I'm going to use these dies to create two cards, also using these two paper pads. I've used these paper pads in my 6x6 paper pad series. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the video description below. But the first thing I did for these cards was to select some papers. I just wanted one kind of bold paper and a couple of less bold supporting papers. With the bolder papers, I stuck them on some double-sided foam and then die cut out a large arrow from each. These are gonna form the focal point of my focal point for each card. So from the darker, grungier paper pad, I've got a dark brown paper. And from the lighter pastel pad, I've got a nice, almost solid green pattern. Next, I use the small arrow die to die cut two arrows from each of my supporting papers. I didn't put these papers on craft foam because I wanted to put them straight flat on my card blank. And again, this makes the larger arrow the focal point because not only is it bigger and bolder, it is popped up on craft foam, so it has more prominence. Once I had all the die cutting done, I used my T-square ruler to line up my large arrows on the fronts of my cards. And then I used matte gel medium to glue down the small arrows, one above and one below facing opposite directions. There's no real significance to using arrows. They're not symbolic of anything really on this card. I just wanted to play with the dies. They're a fun shape to work with. And if the recipient sees any symbolism in them, then that's great. So I wanted to ask a quick question today, and that is, would you like to see more patterned paper, clean and simple card making videos on my channel? Even though I'm not buying patterned paper at the moment, I do have quite a large stash left over from scrapbooking and journaling. So if you'd like to see more pattern paper videos on my channel, do let me know in the comments. And if you've got any questions about how to use pattern paper on clean and simple cards, then drop those in a comment too, and I'll address those in future patterned paper card making videos. Now that my arrows were stuck down, it was time to work on the other portions of my focal point. So I took my multi-flower die and die cut some flowers from both paper pads. From the pastel paper pad, I used a spotty peachy paper. And from the grungy paper pad, I used a yellow paisley pattern paper. I then constructed some flowers simply by gluing a smaller flower on top of a larger flower. And that gave me a few dual layer flowers to work with for each card. But I did feel like they needed a little bit of punch, a bit of definition. So I scraped them across some Distress Oxide ink pads. For the pastel pad, I used Tattered Rose, and for the grungy pad, I used Scattered Straw. I then popped the flowers on a piece of fun foam and used an embossing tool to press down in the middle. This makes the petals curl upwards and gives the flowers a little bit of dimension and interest. I then glued these on my focal points to create a cluster to the left hand side of the large arrow and then I popped one or two little ones down to the right hand side of the arrow so there is a focal flower cluster and a subsidiary flower. To give my flowers centres, I use pale gold and nouveau drops. Just put a drop in each flower. Then for my sentiment, I chose a with gratitude stamp and I die cut some small stitched rectangles and stamped my sentiment in memento tuxedo black ink. To adhere my sentiment strips, I used a combination of matte gel medium and a bit of the leftover craft foam with the pattern paper stuck to it because I wanted to have the sentiment 
stretching across the arrow and the right hand side of the little strip needed a little bit of support. I did want to give my flowers some leaves though so I took some scraps of the green papers that I'd used for the arrows, die cut out one leafy branchy thing and then snip that down to create some little leaves which I then tucked in around my flowers and I think that finished it off nicely. I did want to add a few gold spatters though because I felt it needed something so I masked off the sentiments with some post-it tape so that I didn't get gold spatters on my stamping and then I spattered on some pale gold, very similar pale gold to the Nouveau drops that I added in the centres of the flowers. And that was these cards done and dusted. As I say, let me know if you would like me to do more pattern paper videos on my channel. And if you've got any pattern paper questions, leave them in a comment too. And if you want to see more from me in general, subscribe, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you back here very soon for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.